so the boys and girls, we are now just under two weeks away from the start of the brand new Premier League season. But the race to sign a new winger this summer transfer window continues at Leicester City. The window will be slammed shut in just under a month time. And surely a winger is our main priority this summer transfer window. So that being said, boys and girls, in today's video, I'll be going through three different wingers who Leicester could potentially sign this summer transfer window. We'll go through each winger in all the detail, how they could fit into the Brendan Rodgers system. And we'll also go through the latest transfer news around each winger being heavily linked to move to Leicester this summer. So yeah, boys, that far ado, let's jump straight into today's video. Let's discuss these wingers and let's get into the latest video discussing Leicester transfers. Here we go. Yes lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today boys and girls, we are back once again discussing the latest Leicester transfer rumours and news around the big summer transfer window. Of course today, I'll be going through three different wingers who Leicester could potentially sign this summer transfer window. Like I said, in my opinion, a winger is now our main priority. Today, I'll be running through three different wingers. We'll go through how they could potentially suit the Brendan Rodgers system and we'll also go around the latest transfer news around each man and how much it would cost Leicester to potentially sign them this summer transfer window. So yeah, boys, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. Let's discuss these wingers. Yeah, boys, here we go. Right then, so the first winger we'll be discussing in today's video is man like Matias Pereira. Of course, in the last transfer video, we did discuss Matias Pereira. Of course, today we're going to focus more on the tactics, how we could fit into the Brendan Rodgers system. But later on in, in this video, we have got a big update on the potential transfer of Pereira as well to Leicester. So yeah, lads, stay tuned because to be honest, we have got some pretty big news. But yeah, for those who don't know who Matias Pereira is, well, he's a 25-year-old Brazilian international currently playing football at Championship side. West Bromwich Albion. He can play on the right hand side, he can play on the left, and he's also left footed. But usually, he likes to play on that right hand side, cross the side on his left foot, you know, creates a lot of chances, and you know, is a real danger man. And just about that straight up, as we can see here, this is Pereira's heat map from last season in the Premier League for West Brom. As we can see, you know, he's all over the pitch, but most of the time he comes to that right hand side where, you know, he comes inside creating chances on his left foot. And like I said, this, this guy is a real danger coming off that right hand flank. Also from the 2019-20 Championship season, this pattern really does repeat itself. As we can see here, Pereira, you know, he really does like to advance into shooting positions. You know, in that Championship season, he scored a lot of goals from coming from the right side on his left foot, taking players off and shooting from, you know, just outside the box or just coming into the box as well. Last season for West Brom with being in the Premier League, of course, West Brom were relegated, but Pereira still managed to score 11 goals, got six assists in 33 games, which, you know, for relegation side, you know, is pretty crazy stats from the Brazilian international. And just imagine putting Pereira in a lesser side, full of creativity, full of players, you know, who can take their chances more often. You know, this guy is going to have some incredible numbers if he does join Leicester heading into next season. So yeah, lads, moving on to the transfer side of things. Recently, Pereira has made a pretty big statement on his future at West Brom Ojabi. He has said that he wants to leave. I want to seek new challenges, but I want to do this in a fair and correct manner. So yeah, Pereira has pretty much confirmed that he wants to leave West Brom this season you know and that and that is pretty much the case he will be leaving West Brom this season a number of clubs are interested and of course Leicester are one of them the main man for Brixia Romano has also recently spoke on the potential transfer of Pereira to Leicester he has said that I'm told he's one of the possibilities that Leicester are considering more so than Daniel James as of today. He's one of the players to keep an eye on, and I think it's a big, it's a big opportunity for them this transfer window. So it's clear, you know, that Leicester are heavily interested, but it's just a case of if Leicester are going to go in for the Brazilian international in the coming weeks. And like I said, boys and girls, a number of different clubs have seemed to be interested in Matthias Pre, including Saudi Arabian side. Al Hilal. I don't know if I said that right or wrong. I don't know who they are, but um, yeah, apparently now that is off. Pedro Media has said this. To be clear, Al Hilal and West Brom didn't reach an agreement regarding the payment method for the transfer of Matis Pra. The Saudi club wanted to pay in five years. The English club wanted a maximum of 18 months for the payment. Matis Pra will not be an Al Hilal player. So, you know, that, that obviously uh, that is good news, boys. It's another club who can't get Pereira, but I don't know who they are. But um, yeah, that's the latest news surrounding the Saudi Raymond team who are looking at Matis Pereira. 
And it also looked like West Ham were also interested in Matis Pereira. Recently, we have got reports yesterday that the deal for Matis Pereira to West Ham may not be as close as, as it has been reported. Today, we initially inquired for a loan to buy, but West Brom want to sell the players. So, you know, it looks like West Ham are offering a loan, but apparently West Brom don't want that. And it's clear, so, you know, that, that Pereira doesn't want to be loaned out. He wants to leave West Brom. He wants to seek new challenges. You know, could Leicester be that club? So yeah lads, that's about it then for discussing Matis Pereira, all the tactics, all the transfer news surrounding the Brazilian international. As always boys and girls, let me know your thoughts and opinions on him in the comment section down below. For me, this would be my ideal sign this summer. I think this guy, you know, ticks all the boxes. It's going to be interesting to see how this deal progresses and if Leicester do go in for the Brazilian international. But yeah boys, let's move on to the next winger. And the next winger in discussion is PSV winger Noni Maduke. So for those who don't know who Noni Maduke is, well, Noni Maduke is a 19-year-old English international currently playing football at PSV in, in the Eredivisie. Noni Maduke is an English international where he came through the Tottenham Hotspur Youth Academy where a few years ago he finally got a move to PSV where he's been playing some regular football out there. He's also played several times for the England youth squads but moved back to the Premier League could be on for the young Englishman. So could Leicester be that club for Noni Maduke? And as we can see here, boys and girls, Maduke's heat map from last season for PSV in the Eredivisie. Once again, very similar to Matthias Prairie. Sticks that right inside, cuts his side on his left foot, creates chance. And, you know, this guy is a very, very similar player to, to Pereira. Of course, this guy is several years younger than the Brazilian international. And just about that straight up, as we can see here, it looks like Maduke does take a lot of shots from that position. So, you know, he comes off the right side, drives the side on his left foot, takes players on, creates chances, takes shots, and once again, that's exactly what Leicester need in a winger, and that is a perfect winger, in my opinion. Last season for PSV, Maduke scored seven goals, got four assists in 24 games, which, you know, for a 19-year-old, isn't bad at all. And he also scored a goal in the Champions League as well, which, you know, is pretty mental, 19 years old, Three years older than me, and you know, this guy scored a goal in the Champions League. I'm here right now talking about the guy, but um, yeah, fair play to the lad. I think Maduke would definitely suit the Leicester system for me. A pretty similar player to the like of Harvey Barnes, you know, very, very direct, likes to take players on, drives jiu jitsu at the fence, you know, shooting can definitely improve, but that's a similar story to Barnes. I think this guy would definitely suit the Leicester system going forward. And as we can see from here, it's been reported that it would cost Leicester around 20 million to sign Maduke from PSV this summer. So the fee has been set, 20 million for a 19 year old, you know, is quite pricey, is a gamble, but could it be a gamble? Potentially taken this summer, we will find out in the next few weeks, boys. But yeah, this is a definite option where Leicester could potentially explore in the next few weeks. It also looks like Crystal Palace hold an interest as well in the English international CA. So it's definitely clear, so you know, several clubs are interested in Noni Maduke. There's definitely a talent in there. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes, boys and girls. But you know, 20 million in which, you know, it's quite pricey for a 90 year old. It looks like PSV are determined to keep the Englishman for the next few seasons. So yeah, lads, that's it for discussing Noni Maduke. As always, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts and opinions on him in the comment section down below. Should we sign him? Should we not? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But yeah, boys, let's move on to the final video we're discussing in today's video. winger is your 2020 winner Domenico Berardi. So once again for those of you who don't know who Domenico Berardi is, well he's a 26 year old winger, currently plays football as a solo and like I said he was part of the Italy side who beat England in the final of Euro 2020 and of course won. But once again lads Domenico Berardi is a serious option for Leicester to consider this summer. Of course we made several videos on this man of course we're going to talk more tactics about the Italian winger and how he could potentially fit into the Brendan Rodgers system. As we can see right here from Domenico Berardi heat map from last season in this series. This guy, you know, likes it more on that right hand side and he likes he literally leaves his sticks on that right hand side, but you know, can drift inside at times. This guy is a bit more of a creative winger than someone who you know can drive inside and take shots. This guy likes to link the play best, you know, which could definitely suit the list suit suit the system. It could allow space for the likes of Ricardo to advance down that right hand side. And just about that straight up, as we can see here, a picture from a game last season for a solo in this series. Barali's on the ball here, he plays the ball over the top to the striker in the space behind he finishes well Brody gets the assist you know this would definitely suit Leicester with the pace and behind of Dakar Vardy Ian Atcher Barnes just from the other side runners in behind Brody can find those balls and like, and like I said this guy is a very creative winger last season Brody scored a total of 17 goals got seven assists 
in 30 games, you know, is pretty mental. This guy scores goals for fun, gets this for fun, you know, this guy's stats are pretty crazy. Yes, it's in the Serie A, but you know, it's still a pretty strong league. And just quickly moving on then to the transfer side of things around Dominico Broadis. Yeah, Fritz Romano has provided an update from Solo CEO, where he's been recently speaking about Dominico Brady and the Leicester rumours. We want to keep Brady, he's our top player. If we receive an important bid, we will discuss about it and take a decision together with the player, but we're not setting our stars later in August. Yeah, based on that, it looks like Leicester are going to have to put an offer in fairly soon if we want any chance of trying to sign Dominico Brady this summer. But yeah, boys, that's about it then for discussing Dominico Brady. As always, let me know thoughts and opinions on the Italian winger in the comment section down below. Like I said, should we sign him, should we not? Let me know down below. So the boys and girls, that's it for today's video. Of course, in today's video, we went through three different wingers who Leicester could potentially sign this summer transfer video. As always, boys and girls, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe as well to the channel if you guys have not already. We are now on the road to 3,000 subscribers, most importantly. Any thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Which one should we sign? Let me know in the comment section down below, boys and girls. Be a sports fan, and I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Peace, guys.